hello world welcome to my channel i am sahil and today i am going to show you how to create advanced pagination searching and sorting of records using bootstrap 4 php mysqli and a very powerful open source library that is jquery data table some of you were asking to create a pagination tutorial so i don't think that anything is better than this implementing jquery data table is very very easy so let's start so here you can see i have already created a database and a table inside this database and you can see i have already inserted some records inside this table users table okay so first we will fetch all these records uh, in a table format in the main page using bootstrap 4 php and mysqli and then after that i will use jquery data table to make pagination and searching and sorting of the records so let's minimize this and let's create a folder inside htdocs so let's create a new folder here i am keeping pagination let's open this in your editor so open this folder in your editor now create a file index.php and we need a bootstrap bootstrap for library and jquery library and also a jquery data table library so for this uh, just go to your web browser and here just write data tables dot net now this is the official website of jquery data table so now by here you can see this is the download link click on this download link and here you have to choose your styling framework so i will use bootstrap 4 so just click on bootstrap 4 and these are the additional packages so i also need jquery library so just click on that and i also require this bootstrap 4 library for designing purpose so let's check on these also and make uh, uh, and check this data table also so now go below and here you can see all the cdn links are here so just copy all the cdn links and go to your editor and paste here and just select html now in the title just write pagination using jquery jquery data tables jquery data table okay copy this and now let's create our table format uh, for phase for fetching all the records from the database uh, database in the main page so for this let's create a container and inside this container we will create a row sorry row and inside this row create a column lg 10 now let's keep some bootstrap class to this body tag class uh, bg info for background color of the body tag and let's give some bootstrap class to this row justify content center for centering this column and also make this background color light rounded corner and and also margin top and bottom two and padding top and bottom make two also okay now inside this first we will show our heading 
so let's paste the same thing and now here let's give some bootstrap class to this heading also text center text dark for the color text color and here padding top two let's save this and go to your browser open this folder let's write pagination here so this is our heading now inside this heading uh, we will fetch all these records using php and mysql i so let's let's create a horizontal line inside this heading so this is looking good now uh, now inside this we will create a table and give some bootstrap class to this table so class table table bordered and table table stripped table hover and now inside this table first we will create t head and now in this tr tag inside this tr tag we are first showing our column names so our first column name is for id second is for first name second third is for last name and fourth one is for email fifth is for gender and last one is for job title let's save this and go to your browser refresh so these are the column names of column names of our table now inside this closing t head uh, i will create the t body of this table and here i will create this tr tag and now i will use php uh, and mysqli here to fetch the records from the database so let's create php and here i will write php code so let's create a variable con and i will use this variable for connecting to the database so here i will write mysqli and let's write server name local host and here server username password and here write the name of database so our database name is pagination now inside this line i will write our query select all from users users is the table name now i will create one more variable race and here i will use this connection variable and by using this connection variable we will use this query method to execute our query just pass sql variable and now i will use while loop sorry while and create one more variable row equal to race and by using this race variable i will use fetch sock method and just pin the curly braces delete this opening uh, closing curly brace now here what i have to do is just write php shorthand tag and here by using this row first i will uh, fetch the id now here you have to mention the column names that you have written in your table name in the uh, database table okay so here uh, in my case i have id first underscore name last underscore name email gender and job underscore title so let's duplicate this and here we have to write first 
underscore name sorry name and here we have to write last underscore name and i think this is for email so just write email and here gender and this is for job title so job underscore title let's save this and let's close our while loop here and go to the browser refresh now you can see all the records are showing in this page i have total 100 records so all the 100 records are showing in the same page here you can see now uh, i will use jquery data table so you can see uh, this is our table so just below all the codes and just above the closing body tag i will write my jquery uh, data table code so open script tag and inside this script tag first select document and make sure our document is ready by using this function sorry function and now select the table so just write table and write data table function call this data table function now just go to the browser and refresh now you can see our page layout has been changed you can now see uh, in upper you can see the number of entries uh, you can show by selecting the uh, numbers and uh, you can see in the right side you can see a search box here and below right side you can see uh, the pagination is showing and this is working also and uh, you can see there is a uh, in the left side bottom left side you can see some information about what uh, what is the total entries and in uh, what rows are showing from what okay so you can see uh, a little information here and you can just go to the previous page by clicking on this previous button and like this you can go to the next and you can also go directly to this one page or five and six and so on okay and uh, if we want to uh, show more than 10 records in the page then select here and now you can see 25 records it's showing in one time here like this if you want to show 50 records then you can see 50 records is showing now and pagination is fit according to that and if you want to show 10 records then select 10 records then you can see only 10 records each showing now here is the search box so let's try to search any record so let's i am trying to search this seventh record by using the value of first name so let's write ted so you can see only this record is showing so this search box is also working fine let's search with another value web so you can see a uh, web is found in job title so you can search with any values with any column name okay so this is working fine and uh, and now the, you can sort uh, each column by clicking on the column name so if we want to uh, sort these ID 
ascending or descending then just click here then you can see these uh, this column is sorted and uh, according to this column all the columns are showing okay now if you if you want to uh, sort this first name accord, uh, according to alphabet then click on this then you can see here only a values with uh, first letter of a is showing here then b then c and like that okay like this uh, you can sort all the uh, column by clicking here okay you can sort this gender column also if you uh, let's select 50 record and uh, you can when you click on this then only males uh, people are showing and then after female and if you click again then only female are showing and then male are showing okay so uh, sorting is also working fine now let's do some changes uh, so in this function we will use some uh, like uh, if you don't want to show this uh, search box here so you can hide just by writing searching uh, false okay searching false refresh then you can see the searching box is not displaying now okay like that if you don't want to sort these column so let's go here and write ordering ordering and let's make this false also now now you can see you are not able to sort now okay so and if you want to uh, just write paging and make this false also then what will happen so our pagination is not showing here you can see so if you want to keep one thing or not another thing then you can just do by using this so if you don't want to keep search box and the uh, sorting uh, symbols in the each column then you just make these false and if you want to keep the pagination then make this true refresh then you can see only pagination is working and all the sorting or searching is hidden okay so this is working fine and if you like this video then hit on like button and please subscribe my channel